Greetings BMW Motorrad fans, Andy Dukes here and welcome to Hecklingen. I'm here at the Enduro Park and we have the latest GS Boxer model updates. As you can see, they look absolutely fantastic. There's a lot to show you and a lot to talk about. Fortunately, I'm here with Reiner Thing, Senior Product Manager for the Boxer GS models. Hey Reiner. Hi Andy. So you're gonna help us take a closer look, I gather. So the first thing I noticed, Reiner, was some pretty awesome color schemes. Tell us more about these. Yes, we've got four colors for each bike. So that means we've got the standard color, We've got the style triple black, well known, well known triple black in this dark color scheme. We've got also the style rally and additional on that, we've got the new 40 years of GS style. I'm also seeing a brand new face there. It's unmistakably GS of course, but it looks great. There's a lot going on behind the scenes though. So tell us more about that, Reiner. Yes, we did a lot of things more on the front. When you switch ignition on, you see there's a new face on X, the headlight. Like it says hello. Yes, it says hello to you. Yeah, it's talking to you. And you see something special on the front, yeah? The new X scheme where you see it's daytime riding light if you've got this option. And But the most important thing is that we've got the adaptive cornering light. So while you're cornering, the light is always there where you're riding to or where you're looking to. So a lot of increasing of safety for riding this bike. Another thing that you see here in detail are the indicators. LED indicators are standard, but here with a special function, it is a um, cruising light. So the indicators are dimmed down to a light where you can see on front, yeah, there is a new bike or there is a new, new motorbike and increases this riding safety. Wow, that's a lot going on at the front. So I believe you've also got some bits going on at the rear too. Yes, on the rear too. We've got uh, also LED indicators on the rear, but there's an option. It is named multifunctional indicators. So the multifunctional indicators are not only good to make indication like, but they're also able to have a tail light and brake light. So also in combination with the tail light, you've got the new design of the tail while you're riding and light is switched on. Superb. And I just want to go back very quickly to the adaptive cornering light because there's some great technology, isn't there, from, from a safety perspective as well. Yes, there is a sensor with the bike and uh, that sensor and uh, also the wheel sensor in front and we are find out the position of the bike and the light is uh, adjusted in 30, 35 degrees left and right and also two plus minus two degrees uh, in the height and the light is always in the position where you're looking to while you're cornering, for example, in the night. So that increases the riding in the night while you're looking where you're riding to. Yeah, great. Allowing you to see around corners, literally. So you've got form, you've got function. It's all wrapped up in a nice, neat package. I'm loving it. Yeah, yeah. And something special. The bike is talking to you. So it can also say goodbye when you switch off. Yes, when you switch ignition off, yeah, the bike say goodbye. The light will be dimmed down and then you say, OK, it was a perfect ride. Perfect. And one thing more. When it's dark and you want to go to your garage, it can you follow can, you home. Yeah, yeah, you can switch on also the follow home function. That means you push the high beam button and the headlight will be switched on and you can push the bike to the position where you're looking for parking. So that was lighting technology. Let's move on to riding modes. Now, Reiner. There are a lot more ways to configure this GS and make it your GS, depending on your mood, the conditions. When you look at the bikes, the color schemes, yeah, it's a wide range. And also for the riding mode, we've got a new, at least, philosophy. That means much more than before, we want to give you the chance while you're offering a mode, everything is perfect for this mode. Additional on top of the rain, road, dynamic and enduro, we've got the new eco mode. The eco mode is special. Uh, for uh, riders, they want to enlarge their distance with one fuel tank filling. Now this eco mode, this is quite interesting because it's kind of more of a mindset, isn't it? You know, you, you don't want to be tearing around all the time everywhere. Sometimes you just want to sort of relax more into the ride, but the additional benefit of that is it can allow you greater fuel consumption. Is that correct? Or greater range? Yes, the, enlarging the range. Everybody who is riding a motorbike, when you want to have fun, yeah, you need fuel. <laughs> that's the that's result of it. 
But when you want to go for a smooth riding, for motorbike riding, to say, okay, I need to, my fuel, my gas station is uh, some kilometers more, and I want to enlarge the range of my bike, you go very smooth for, for acceleration. And for that, we designed the uh, eco mode. So eco mode means not reducing the fuel consumption. That is the result, of course. Eco mode means I go very smooth on riding. We've got a special uh, torque range for that will be offered from the engine. And the most important thing is that you've got can view it. You can see it because you've got an indication while you're riding in eco mode that you can see mostly green is more range. But of course, there are a lot of riding modes. How many in total? Seven. We've got seven now, yes. We thought about this. Seven modes, a lot of stuff. So we thought about to having the riding mode pre-selection. So that means you are able to choose in between two or maximum four riding modes for your own special pre-selection. That means you can also go for off-road riding and say, I don't only need the enduro modes. So pre-selection for you is enduro and enduro pro and you can switch in between. You are off-road and you want to switch in between whether you are a blocking rear wheel or not, for example. Or on the road, Dynamics, you choose Dynamic or Dynamic Pro and you can also switch in between these two. Or you're going for a longer distance ride, you want to have, for example, Echo, yeah? we want to have Road and Dynamic. Whatever you want, you can have your own selection on this bike. Also, the next step, yeah, to create your own bike, to customize your yeah. motorbike. Yeah, so it seems as if BMW Motor has configured these riding modes for all kinds of riders, and you can configure your own riding mode for your kind of riding and your kind of mood. Makes perfect sense, doesn't it? We did a lot of things new with the bike and a lot of things that you can handle it and deal with it. There's certainly a lot to take in there, and that's not all. In addition to the riding modes, there's even more going on, right, Rainer? We've got also included in the Riding Mode Pro engine brake control. We've got also included a new setting for hill start control, so a special optimized for off-road riding. And also we've got a new ABS system. That means we've got ABS, Integral ABS Pro with these two GSs. And we've got a new setting inside of the ABS for the brake on road. All configured by the multi-controller on your left? It's so very simple, very easy. You can go in the installation menu and choose what you want. BMW has always been telling us that the GS is the only bike you ever need. <laughs> it certainly seems like it is right now. Yeah. Don't worry if you haven't taken all of that in. There's a lot going on with these bikes, I know. But of course, everything's going to be posted online. Now let's move on and talk about some of the comfort features. Now, Reiner, something GS riders have been asking for for a long time. Sea eating. Yes, and now we got it, seat heating. So a lot of GS riders and their pillions are going to be very thankful. Was it in response to customer demand then this new seat heating on the GS range? Yes, a lot of uh, customers ask me to have a heated seat. So they want to go for touring and they want to have something to increase comfort. Why shouldn't especially they? Especially when it's cold. Yeah. yeah, not just for touring riders, but a lot of people do serious distances on these bikes, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how does it all work then? How's it all linked together? Yeah, when you order this option or customer order this option, the rider gets five steps uh, to increase his temperature of the seat. And additional to that, he get also his heated grips also in new five steps. He can increase it. And for the passenger, uh, there's a separate switch, I believe. Yes, the passenger has got a separate switch. He can switch on and off here. He can choose two positions, low and high, for the heating of his seat. So, Reiner. All kinds of riders of all shapes and sizes enjoy these bikes in all sorts of different conditions. And of course, it's different from when you're sitting on the, uh, sitting on the seat and standing up on the pegs if you're riding off-road. So you've added another useful extra for those who are tall riders or riders riding off-road. Bar risers! Yes, yes, we offer a lot of things. You're right. Seats and footrests and so on. And now we've got a new option. We've got handlebar risers. 30 millimeters, you are able to install the handlebar in a higher position. And for special for off-road riders like you, yeah, they enjoy riding the bike, standing on the footrests and have more control. Yeah, it makes it easier when you're taller also. Yeah. So are they easy to change over, to switch over? Yes, four bolts are included, so four longer bolts and you can install by yourself or you go to the workshop. Perfect, makes perfect sense. And it's about time.
all kinds of really useful and carefully thought out updates designed by riders for riders. The only question you've got to ask yourself is, which GS are you going to choose now? I can't decide, but thanks for showing them all to us, Rhino. It's been a pleasure. Well, it's goodbye from us at Ride and Talk. I hope you enjoyed that technical update. See you again soon.